Today's video is brought to you by Technically Not a Technician. In today's video you'll see us taking the merged set of MAME ROMs we just downloaded from Internet Archive, and we will unmerge our set, so we have separate files for each game. We unmerge, or build ourselves a non-merged set, so we can pick the version of the game that we want. For example if you have a US version, and a world version of a game, and you'd like to only have the US version of that game, then unmerging the ROMs lets you select the version you want, and disregard the versions you don't want. If you missed the video showing you how to automate downloading MAME then please see the link above, and I'll also make sure that I put a link in the description. Before we begin, I do want to point out that building a ROM set for MAME does take time. We'll be fast forwarding this a great deal, as this set took over 8 hours to finish. It was at about 90%, done when I gave up and went to bed. For today's video we will be downloading a program that will automate rebuilding our MAME set to a non-merged set. The program that we will need is called Clormame Pro. Clormame Pro is a program that is in high use by the MAME community and if used right can be a great tool to save time. We'll be downloading the 64-bit version of Clormame as we have a 64-bit computer and operating system. As this downloads we will also look for a DAT file. A DAT file is a list of instructions for Clormame to follow to take our merged set and rebuild it into a non-merged set. I'd recommend getting your DAT file from projetosnaps.net. The truth is, it's the only place I've ever gotten my DAT files. Projetosnaps.net is a great source of MAME information, and for MAME supporting files, like DAT and INI files. You'll not find ROMs here, only helpful MAME support files. Please be sure to check out Projetosnaps.net. I'll be heading to the DAT file section of Projetosnaps.net for the download that I need. We need to unzip our DAT files in a safe and easy place to find. I'm just going to make a subfolder called DATs in my main download folder, and I'll unzip all of those files into it so I can find them later. We will also need to install Clormame Pro. I'm going to install it using the default settings. If you get a warning simply click more information and then click on the run anyway. This will let the program run and start installing the needed software. We're going to do two different things here. The first is to go back into our downloads folder and find the DAT folder with all of our DAT files. We'll have a ton of DAT files to pick from, but all we need is the DAT file called MAME 0.247. Once we've found our DAT file we will copy it so that we can place it into our MAME directory. After we've got our DAT file copied, we'll navigate to the root of our MAME emulator install, and we will make a new subfolder called DAT, and we will paste our DAT file into this new folder.
I'm also going to go to the root of Chlormame Pro, and I'm going to tell the executable to run as an administrator. I believe this is optional, but if you run into issues then please give it a try. You could also send a shortcut to your desktop if you wished. Next we'll simply start Chlormame Pro and adjust a few important settings. The first thing that Chlormame Pro does is give you a little helpful instruction screen. Completely ignore the instructions screen. I know it's from the programmer, but don't listen to him, instead listen to this random guy on YouTube and simply click on the OK to continue. We need to first click on the icon that says add dat file and after we've found and clicked on it, we'll need to navigate to the dat file that we saved in our MAME's root folder. Again, the dat file basically tells Chlormame Pro what needs to be done with the ROM files to rebuild them from a merged set to a non-merged set and a non-merged set is best for when you need a one game to one ROM ratio with no sharing of any files between ROMs. We'll now need to highlight our profile and click on the load update icon. This will bring up a sub menu and we will need to click on the default button. Chlormame Pro will now load the DAT file that matches our ROM set and we can use Chlormame to rebuild our ROM set. Chlormame Pro may display a message or two. Simply click on the OK to all so the automation of the program continues. Once your DAT file has been loaded, you're going to get this really cool looking interface. I've got to admit it looks so cool that it makes me feel smart. Anyways, we will need to take this cool menu and set up a few basic settings. We'll need to click on the setting icon and then click the add. We're going to need to set a ROM path, but the path we need to set is to that of the DAT folder that we added to our MAME root. So navigate to the root of our MAME directory and add our DAT folder. The next part is important, and it doesn't feel right, but please exit this menu by clicking the X at the top right side of the menu. Again, I know it doesn't feel right, but please trust me. We'll now click on the Rebuilder icon, and a new menu will come up. Here we'll need to tell Chlormame where our source ROMs are. Basically, we navigate our program to the root of MAME and find the ROMs folder that I've stored my ROM files in. Under the merge options make sure non-merge set is selected, it may do a short scan if needed. Once ready simply click rebuild and let the system run. It will notify you that you're going from a merged set to a non-merged. Just click OK and let the program do its thing. After this, you really need to go find something to do for the next few hours. This part takes a ton of time, I stopped recording it after about 8 hours, and I guess it was about another 2 or 3 before it finished, I just went to bed and checked in on it in the morning. I've sped this section of video up twice, just a fun little fact about this video. I also want to take a second or two and ask that you please consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps the channel grow and it helps me bring you more content.
Like I said, after about 8 hours of video, I went to bed. Once the system is done, you'll get a display screen with some information on how your rebuild went. You should be able to see how many ROM files were skipped, how many matched, and how many were copied. At this point you're done, and you can close out the program and navigate to your DAT folder to see your newly built ROM set. This new ROM set is still version 0.247. However, it is now a non-merged set, giving you a 1 game to 1 ROM ratio. Thank you for watching my video about MAME. I hope you found it informative. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend. That really helps the channel grow.